Hello everybody, my name is Viking Toast and welcome to my first Bedrock Edition tutorial. Uh, in this video I shall be showing you how to build a reversible bubble vator. So as you can see it's bubble vator, you go up, uh, then you can press this button. Just give it a second and you can go down. Uh, it's a very simple build. Uh, the one I'm going to be showing you how to put today is nine dispensers. Well, it's ten dispensers, but nine dispensers high. So for your bubble vate, it'll be going up nine blocks. Uh, this is just an example of bigger, anyway. only difference is it requires more repeaters and things. Right, for the first step you're going to need two observers, two torches, a sticky piston, soil sand, a dispenser, six redstone repeaters and six redstone. And you'll want to dig out a hole like this. Okay. Right, so first thing you want to do is put a dispenser here, piston here and your soil sand there. Okay. After that, you want to come down here, put a repeater here, repeater here, redstone here, both of these repeaters on 4 ticks, repeater here on 4 ticks, repeater here on 4 ticks, repeater here on 4 ticks. And then you want a repeater here on 1 tick. Then you want to put one of your redstone torches here, and another one of your redstone torches here. Uh, that will extend that out. Uh, next thing you want to do is get your redstone, bring it all the way across to this torch and put another redstone there and an observer <coughs> facing into that repeater and then you want an observer facing into this torch piece of redstone here right step two you need 11 redstone, two repeaters, one comparator, two redstone torches, two hoppers, a button, nine random blocks and a random item. For step two, you want to put redstone here, repeater here, comparator here, temporary block, put one of your hoppers into this block, destroy that block, put a hopper here, put two pieces of redstone on top, leave a block gap, go one up, put a redstone torch, put a block above this redstone torch and put a redstone torch on it. Then put your random item into this hopper. Then you want to use your blocks to basically give yourself an output thing. So repeat it there, redstone dust here, and you want to go redstone dust all the way across. And this will go to wherever you're going to have your output. Um, I go down to here for the next step. Then you want to have your wherever your wall is. Then you put your button on the wall. This should allow you to change this. And if you press it again, change back. On to step three. For step three, you'll need a button, three redstone blocks, three repeat, uh, three pistons, three redstone, and then your blocks to help you build with. You come over here, put a block down, put a redstone block on top, block, block. And then put your piston into this redstone. And come up here, put a block in between this, these two. Block, block, piston again. And then one more time. Remember to break the blocks in between these because it does break the whole thing otherwise. So you could place your button wherever you want. So this redstone bit here can be longer or shorter. Just make sure it doesn't connect to any other part of the circuit. So you just want to redstone up to this. And then put your button on the block it needs to be on. That switches it. For step 4, you need 15 redstone, 4 repeaters, your dispensers, and some glass. 
So what you want to start out by doing is putting all of your dispensers down to the height you want to go. Make sure you have temporary blocks to help you build these up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then what you want to do is you want to put your redstone out to about just above this um, observer. You want to come all the way across to get in line with your, repeat, uh, your dispensers. You want to put redstone here, all the way to here, and put your redstone to the middle. Make sure you have a repeater into here. You can leave these on one tick because there's no point changing it. Temporary block here, glass here, temporary block, glass, redstone, redstone, glass, red, redstone, then you want your block, then you block into here again, and you repeat it again, redstone again. Uh, I think we've got to do this one more time. So, temporary block, glass, temporary block, glass, Redstone, redstone, glass, redstone, and then your blocks into your dispensers. For this fifth step, what you'll need is water buckets to go in all of your dispensers, some decoration blocks, and your blocks to keep it in, basically. I'm going with this design because this is what I'm using on my current You Ask I Build series. So you've got blocks all the way up to your height. So this would normally be about your floor height. So two or three above is whereabouts you want to be. Anyway, what I recommend next is using walls all the way up to the sides. You don't have to, you could just use glass planes, but it just helps if you don't do it this way. Once you have your walls in place, then just go ahead and put your black panels all the way up to the top. The last step is to put the water buckets in the dispensers. So what you want to do is you want to put the bottom bucket in this one while the, the sole sand is across. It means when you press this, it will retract and it will be dispensed. You test it again. Right. And now I'll show you how to put these ones in. When you're putting these dispensers in, it's easier to do it from the back, but make sure this water is out while you're doing so. Once you've completed that last step, this is your whole uh, reversible bubble veil. So like I said, press button, switches, you can go straight in. And when you want to come down again, it's faster than switching out to magma. I'll show you a quick way of how you can use this in your survival world by showing you my survival world. This is the uh, reversible bubble vader on my current new ask I build survival world. The one that's in my videos. Um, one thing I will say is, not right now, but if I press this button, when it's in the bubble mode, this will power this, right? You don't want to change this. Don't make this a block back to stop this happening. It's one of the main reasons why this whole thing works. Um, also, don't these are still very much needed because they help dispense it to begin with. I hope you liked this uh, Bedrock Edition tutorial. Uh, all the items needed will be listed in the description below. Um, and I hope to see you in a future video. Uh, you ask I build episodes about every Friday. 
Thank you for watching and peace.